Making maps, I believe, is the best part of video game design because map design is where the rubber meets the road in design. It's what people experience, it's what people play. So if you've played Quake Champions, you can see that we've borrowed a lot from some of the levels that we created you know, almost 20 years ago. One thing we did early on in the project was try to find out how we could replicate early Quake 1 maps, but with a modern visual style. They look amazing. They feel like you're in a space, in a world that's engaging and it's fun to play in. There is certain things that you can build in every map that if you add those elements, it will probably be a good map. Give room for a player to build up speed, to launch attacks, to kind of sneak around. If the distances are good, the combat spaces work. Uh, one thing we do is we have very vertical environments so that you always have to be aware of your surrounding and it's a uh, very you know, Twitch-based. Combat will come at you really from any direction. Every room is identifiable, that it feels unique, so you can always know where you are. So when you're in a quake level, you know it. It's not a corridor shooter. It's not a city block somewhere in the desert. It is a true over-the-top arena. What makes a good quake map, it feels like quake. There's no real scientific definition of what makes a good map. It's really a gut feeling. You just kind of know. 